And I'm back, man. What's good, YouTube? You know what the fuck it is, man. It's the God himself, the Demonville. Two times. Name sounds so good. You gotta say it two times. And I'm back, man. Sub count right here. Don't forget to hit the like button. And while you're in motion, hitting the like button. Hit the bell to officially be notified whenever I post. And never. And I mean, ever miss another video from me. Why would you want to miss a video from me, my boy? I'm dummy entertaining. No, Cap. You know I gotta plug myself in. Follow the links at the bottom of the screen. Without further ado, 2x the family tomorrow. Let's get into this banger. Okay, so I'm not usually the tallest in the room. But, like, I'm not the shortest either. I'm average height. I'm not the tallest, you feel me? Average height, you feel me? I'm a I tell people I'm 5'7", maybe 5'8 on a good day, but low key for I'm probably 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, but unfortunately, I was cursed with tall friends. And I don't mean like some cool, simple tall, like a 5'10". No, my two closest friends are 6'3 plus. Like, my nigga, can you give me some of that height? Pause! Can you spare some of that, my boy? You got any to spare, my nigga? I would love some. Spare height. Does anyone have any spare height? I swear if I just had one more foot to my height, I would go straight to the NBA. Oh shit, you that short ass nigga. Nah, 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 bro. That's not me. You got me mistaken, my boy. For too long, my short kings have been disrespected. It's time for someone to take lead. Oh my god, what is that? It's time for one of us to get the ball in that seven game series and turn up and go crazy. We need a MJ. We need a game six clay. And I'm here to step up for my short kings, put y'all on my back, and lead us to the promised land. You know how this routine goes. This is Vel 2X I Hate Tall People Rant. Number one. A side-by-side -side comparison. A side-by-side -side comparison if you're a short person compared to a tall person is so disrespectful. You looking up at him like, my niggas, you dead ass? You, you, just, you just gotta exist? My boy, like, you just there. You tall as hell. How you did that? How you get that tall? What's the secret? Was you drinking your milk? I was drinking my milk when I was growing up. What was you drinking that I wasn't drinking? You feel me? I was eating the same school lunch you was eating. How the is you six foot six don't let the hoes be around number two sitting behind them at literally any type of event if you're at a sporting event and you're sitting behind a tall person you're not gonna enjoy that activity you might as well just get your phone out or go on here and look at whatever screen you at the activity that you're partaking at a concert why are you at a concert you know you too damn tall to be up in the air waving your hands around. Now the nigga behind the short person can't even see. Don't let these niggas have a lot of hair, bro. You really, really, really disrespecting everybody that's four rows behind me as well. If every person that's four rows behind me is below the set of five, seven, you not enjoying your event. Cause old dude in front of me, he having the time of his life at this movie theater. I don't even know why I got these 3D glasses on. Only thing I see is hair particles in my face right now. Why you ain't sitting in the back, my nigga? You know damn well you would still had a good front row activity from the nosebleeders, my boy. I'm, I'm just saying. Number three. Getting stuff off of high places. I will give y'all that. You mean, I can't do that. You feel me? In my family growing up, we always had a step ladder. You mean, I will always give y'all, y'all roses, y'all flowers, and y'all round of applause for getting stuff off of high shelves. Because a nigga like me, man, that's just not something I have in my array of arsenal. You feel me? Number four, being tall is y'all whole ass personality. Warning. Warning. A lot of hater shit is about to be put on the screen. Brace yourself for a brace of action. What, my nigga? Y'all just be like, yeah, bro. Y'all just be existing. Like, being tall can't be your personality, bro. What's your characteristics? You're tall? <laughs> What's interesting about you? You're tall? That's it? You bend your head down to get in the door? What the fuck? <laughs> being tall can't be your personality, my nigga. I'm just saying. Y'all just be existing. Number five taking pictures this brings us back to number one with that side by side comparison bro Ugh, i'm gonna just throw it on the screen you see that you see how disrespectful that picture is matter of fact here's another one here's another one here's another one you get the point bro taking pictures with a tall person and you're short why would you think that was a good idea don't post them those you know the tall person for sure gonna post with some captions like how's the view down there <laughs> back to the personality it all links together i'm telling you all this shit be linking up i be i be knowing what i be talking about you take pictures with people who is around your height or shorter than you take notes my nigga number six 
being tall for no fucking reason, bro. Like, as you a six foot seven cashier at McDonald's, what happened? What went wrong? You not using your height to your fullest capability, my nigga. You mean, that's what I'm saying, bro. You could donate some of that shit to me, bro. Because there's niggas out here seven foot one who don't know how to work their weird linky body. You know what I mean? Donate yourself to science so we can figure out how to donate that shit to niggas who need it. Just saying. I'm just saying. Hey, hashtag short niggas on top, give us your knees. Number seven, you look weird doing everything, bro. You look like a baby giraffe when they first come out and they first learn how to walk. And you're like, y'all literally look weird doing the most simplest activities. Like, you can't even walk in the door normally, my nigga. You can't do normal people activity. And normal people activity, it's short people activity. So. Hey, hey. Number eight, dating. By dating, I mean dating tall girls specifically. Hey, nothing wrong with that, my nigga. Get you some D1 babies. I, I would love some D1 babies, you man. Oh, you's a stallion? What she said? Sorry, hoes hate me. Sorry, hoes hate me because I'm the it girl. You mean, I listen to Megan too, you mean. Still free Tory, you mean. But I be listening to Megan too. What we talking about here? You mean. But yeah, bro. But dating is a two-edged thing. You know, you can get you a tall girl. You mean, that's cool. Have fun with that. Enjoy your skyscraper. You know, don't let her wear heels around you because that's extra disrespectful. I already got to look up to you. But now I'm looking at your belly button. Come on, don't do that to me. But also, dating on the other side of the stick is, if you're short, bro, something about you got to carry you to the promised lands, my nigga. Don't lie about the height. Don't lie and say you six feet. But yeah, bro, they be like, are you fine, Tim? What does the height system do to increase the odds of y'all having a good relationship? Riddle me that. I'm curious, actually. Number nine. Y'all niggas are so fucking noticeable, bro. Like, you're not hiding nowhere. You're caught immediately, instantly, every time. Like, y'all niggas is like Shaq when he hid behind that tree. Do tall people have ops? I doubt it, because y'all gonna be easily spotted every single time. Like, you can't wear that shiesty. They know it's you, Demarcus. You know what I mean? They know that's you, my boy. Number 10. Literally, these niggas bring up being tall at every chant they get. You could be having the most simplest of conversations. So yeah, bro. I was talking to y'all man. Y'all man. And we was just ch And shit was going all good. A word? That's what's up, my boy. But listen, though. But listen, though. But listen, though. I'm tall as shit. What? How did you slip that in there? We was not talking about you in the slightest. And somehow, some way, you found a way to sneak in there. Oh yeah, bro. I'm six five. I don't care. We do not care. You're six five and you working at Jabole. What are you doing? Why are we talking right now? You need to be talking to a scout. <laughs> you need to be talking to a trainer. <laughs> but yeah, bro. If you like this video, like the video. Hit the sub button. Smash the sub button. Kill the sub button. Hit the bell so you can always be notified whenever I post. It is a new year, bro. Shout out to us. We fucking made it through 2022, my nigga. 2023 is going to be a good year for me. I promise y'all, I have a schedule for my recording, for my editing, all of this. We're going to really, you mean, put out some great hits this year. We're going to change the world. You feel me? I feel like this is my year to shine. But only a clock can tell the time. So meet me halfway. The party over. You ain't got to go home. But you can't stay here. But you can't watch one of these two videos right here. I promise you, they done me entertaining. 2x, we the family, the mob. I love y'all boys. Peace.